After receiving the Vista AVS, unpack it and inspect for any external damage. Verify that you have received each of the contents listed on the accompanying packing list. Assemble the roll stand using the instructions provided in the shipping box. Be sure to fit the pole's alignment pin through the alignment hole on the bracket. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to attach the mounting bracket to the end of the roll stand's pole. Next, use the two mounting knobs to attach the mounting bracket to the Vista ABS, as shown. Plug the external power supply into the power connector labeled Plus 7 VDC. Plug the Doppler cable into the Doppler connector, the blue port. Plug the PPG probe into the PPG connector, the black port. Plug the power cord into a properly grounded wall outlet. Plug the hose quick connect style fitting into the cuff connector. The Vista AVS is managed using the handheld controller. Plug it into the hand controller connector. Next, attach the lure style hose fitting to a cuff. The system operates from either its internal battery pack or from an external power supply. For first time use, allow the system to charge for at least one hour prior to operating from the battery. The last connector is for downloading to a personal computer. For safety, exams cannot be conducted while the Vista AVS is connected to a personal computer through the USB port. Once the system is assembled, press the power button to turn it on. The charging light is on when the unit is plugged into an external power supply. If the low battery light is flashing, the battery is low and the system should be plugged into an external power supply. You still have about 20 minutes before the battery power is exhausted. Step-by-step -step instructions are located here below the date and time stamp. The right side of the display provides information on the pressure and which site you are at in the exam. This area represents a patient lying supine on an exam table. The standard ABI protocol is set up for the exam to be performed in a horseshoe fashion. The protocol marker moves from site to site as you progress through the exam. Start at the patient's right brachial to obtain the systolic pressure. Obtain the right ankle waveform, then the right ankle pressure. Next, move to the patient's left side to obtain the left ankle waveform, then the left ankle pressure, and finally the left brachial pressure. For a different order, use the Sight key on the handheld controller to move to the desired site. On the controller, there are several keys for navigation. While pressed, the pump key inflates the cuff. When released, the cuff automatically deflates at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. The Save key has multiple functions. By pressing Save during deflation, the systolic pressure is stored and the cuff fully deflates. Pressing Save during an active waveform stores the waveform data. Press Save after freezing a waveform to confirm and store it. Pressing the Save key twice records the stored pressure or waveform. Press the Print key to print both pressure and waveform data from the built-in printer on special adhesive-backed label paper. Pressing the Freeze key while you have an active waveform will freeze the displayed waveform. Press Freeze again to restart the waveform. The Sight key moves the protocol marker to the next location. Data is saved before moving from the current location. Press Scale one or more times as needed to adjust the vertical scaling to obtain a waveform as large as possible without clipping at the top. The Mute key enables and disables the Doppler audio output. The Enter Menu key opens the Options menu, enters displayed values, and selects Menu Options. The up and down arrow keys adjust pressure values prior to saving them in the system. They also allow you to navigate through menu selections. The number keys are used for entering alpha or numeric names and values. For replacing the label paper in the built-in printer, press the blue button under the dispenser to open the chamber and place the roll in the dispenser as shown. 
Press the feed button to feed the paper to ensure proper placement. For a specific exam requirement, press Enter Menu to open the Options menu, and then press 1 to select Configure Examination. There are six choices for performing an ABI, TBI, or segmental study using either Doppler or PVR to obtain waveforms. Press the number corresponding to the exam type desired. The next item in the Options menu is System Settings. To change a system setting, Press the corresponding number key. The first setting sets the date and time. Use the number keys to enter the date and time. The second setting determines the display contrast level. Press 2 repeatedly to change the contrast. When the appearance is optimal, save the setting by pressing Enter Menu or by selecting another menu item. The third setting is Automatic Power Down. Press 3 to change the Power Down setting. When enabled, the system turns off to conserve battery power if it has been idle for 20 minutes. File Annotation is the fourth setting, which controls the creation and saving of file names using either numeric or alpha characters. Press 4 to toggle between number and name. The fifth setting is dual ankle pressure, which determines how the ankle pressures are calculated. The Vista ABS can accommodate protocols using either one or two pressure measurements per ankle. There are four options for the dual ankle pressure setting. If you need one pressure from each ankle, set this parameter to off. If your protocol requires pressures from both the posterior tibia and the dorsalis pedis, set it to high, average, or low depending on which you will use for the ABI calculations. The sixth setting is for selecting either Doppler or PPG for obtaining pressures while performing an exam. The remaining topics in the options menu are discussed in detail in specific sections of this video.